Okay, um, this video is about the uh, Testo 410-1 mini vein anemometer. What I like about um, this anemometer, of course, is its size. Um, the size is a plus, but it's also a minus um, at, at the same time. Um, in one of my other videos, I have mentioned I bought this guy right here, the AAV3. And when I try to use this with my uh, fill piece HVAC guide, you know, it was just too big, too bulky, too cumbersome. And again, like I said, I can only look at one measurement at a time. So, looking at different YouTube videos, I uh, came across a, a Testo 410 mini vein anemometer. And, you know, for what everything that, you know, I needed to do right away, uh, this thing satisfied it. Um, and I think my battery is dead on this darn thing. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. Hold on a second here. I gotta turn on. Keep a minute. Okay. All right. Let me see here. Sorry about this. Okay. Auto off. I have to set up here. Okay, yeah, my battery's going dead. Um, so when I saw this on, on YouTube, you know, it pretty much kind of fit the bill at the time. Um, just starting out in the HVAC, HVAC field, wasn't sure exactly what uh, tools and diagnostic equipment I wanted to work with. And like I said, initially this wasn't working out for me. So I sent this back and then I got this little guy right here. Now this unit or this piece compared to this you know display everything that I need all on the screen uh, it showed the feet per minute it showed the uh, temperature um, it showed the uh, um, I'm sorry the 420 does relative humidity but, but see, basically everything I needed to know all at once was on the screen so when I first started uh, doing service calls and I had to go check and verify the airflow coming out of each register uh, this is what I would use and in the course I'll take this thing you know scan it across get the uh, feet per minute and uh, you know either calculate the CFM or just stick with the feet per minute the rate at which air was coming out and then I would go you know do all the registers in, the, in a particular home uh, go back make adjustments and see whether or not if the rate increased or decreased and um, the cool thing about this was the fact that you know when customers see you use uh, diagnostic tools like this in front of them um, uh, one, it kind of makes you look like you know what you're doing, even though you don't know what you know. You may not know what you're doing, uh, but at the same token, um, you can show the customer values um, that you're measuring. So it's not like you, know, you can tell you're telling the customer, "Oh yeah, more air is coming out," um, but you know you don't have like a specific number because some customers are are you know they they they're, they're number specific uh, by how much airflow is coming out uh, coming out of their registers or or if more airflow is coming out of their registers. So I was using this for a while. Uh, actually, it worked fine. Like I said, I just had to make you know more passes, more, more passes across a, a, a supply grill, and because the vein is small, and um, you know sometimes you know on, on some service calls where I had to verify airflow, um, you know, it took longer. And uh, that's said later on, um, or, or actually earlier, a few weeks ago. Again, you know, going back on YouTube or uh, reading uh, information, more literature on the HVAC guide as uh, far as the, uh, being able to, to measure uh, CFMs coming out of supply and grill, uh, supply, supply grills and return registers. I was, I was like supply, um, return grills and supply registers. I'm sorry, I'm so tired right now. Please forgive me. Um, I kind of found uses again for this. Um, anemometer and you no know, naturally compared to this you know fewer passes with this you know uh, versus le less passes you know with the, with the smaller one um, of course this can fit in my pocket you know comes with a cover and 
and it comes with a case. And the cool thing is, this case, the, the, the uh, flap here is magnetic, so it will stay in place. And then also, too, it has a belt clip. I don't know if you can see it. It has a belt clip on the back. So, uh, you know, this is a great little handy tool. I have, I have been using this tool a lot, especially during the summertime, uh, to verify certain things. And it wasn't until when the heating cycle came, then I started using. I started using this guy right here, you know, my laser uh, tempro. And for the heating cycle, or, or the heating season, I should say, you know, this thing here is a great thing to have. You know, like I tell my customers when I walk in, when I walk in their homes, I don't even walk in with this anemometer. I now walk in with this, and basically, even though I don't know what the CFMs are required when I walk into a, a particular home, but I can definitely verify airflow by temperature. Okay, and you no know, having this thing here is great, but also having you know the anemometer itself is also a great tool to have, which I may more so use it. You know, for smaller jobs, I may have one or two supply uh, registers to check out. But for big jobs where I have, you know, a whole floor or an entire um, building to check, you know, this would be the way to go for me. So, in a nutshell, you know, like I said, I love I love my Testo 410. Um, it has served me well. It is very accurate, you know. I mean, this thing it is very, very accurate. I have yet to compare it with uh, this right here. Um, you know, see how close you know Phil Peace and Testo, you know, the little rivalry thing, you know, and, and the like. But um, I'll do that in another video, um, or I may just test it on, on my own and just just post my results online and stuff like that. So, um, you know, in a, in, a, in a nutshell, you know, like I said, I have no complaints about this, except for the fact that the head is small. Um, battery life is great, you know, on this thing. It takes, uh, I believe, it's three, three or two AAA, yeah, two AAA batteries, and it lasts a very long time. And for those who are skeptics of using digital devices that, that or any device that requires batteries, you know, a simple solution is. Go to Costco, Sam's, or even Walmart and buy you the cheap pack of bulk batteries. Buy you a pack of 9 volt, a pack of double A's, pack of triple A's, and um, you'll be good to go. So that is it in a nutshell. Testo 4101 uh, mini vane and anemometer.